circa 1999. It's October, and the cool autumn wind is picking up. I watch the trees sway as if they're dancing in the distance. The tall grass joins in, moving side to side. I watch nature's show unfold from the rotten steps of an unkept porch. The wood beneath my jeans is coarse as tiny splinters jab into me. Beside me is Tom, who feels the same effect from the wood as he leans against the banister. His sister Sarah softly swings back and forth on a porch swing, its age-old metal chain squeaking like a mouse, in peril. Finally, there's Katie who sits against the door. She's curled up into a ball, hiding her face in the safety of her arms that rest upon her knees. She's scared. We all are. There's something in the grass. It slithers but isn't a snake. It growls but isn't a dog. It observes but isn't a bird. Finally, it stops and stands. A black, misty body rises up in the sea of green, tall and still like a lost shadow. I feel my body tense up as it jerks its head towards us. My eyes become dry. I want to blink, but I'm afraid of missing its next move. I want to cry, but no tears fall. I want to run, but I'm frozen atop that accursed step. All I can do is listen to the noises it makes. All I can do is watch as it gazes on with those eyes. Oh, those eyes. Those sharp, round balls of fire that glow bright like headlights in a fog. How red they are. How utterly terrifying they become with each passing second. I'm finally able to force my eyes shut. I'm finally able to look away. To breathe again. My friends all gather around me, putting a hand on my shoulder. Through the blurry glaze of a single tear, I can see the deep regret that lurks in their pain-filled faces. In unison, we look back at the field, at the grass, and at the trees. Whatever it was is gone, but it won't be forgotten. Not today, not tomorrow, not even now. It's been years, and I can still see those eyes lurking in the background of every dream.